All right, lads, what's up? Welcome to another session here of the uh, United Cultures Group Run. Uh, we're currently in a war with Great Britain and a war with Russia. And uh, I've been thinking about things here in between episodes, guys. I've been reviewing some of the comments and so on. And people have pretty much come to the conclusion that Transylvania will not be accepted by Ragusa. And unfortunately, same goes for Karelian by... Minsk as awkward as that is and uh, I just want to say like you know I, I barrel rolled into this game without all that much preparation let's continue on with this war while I rant uh, and I kind of feel like in some ways in spirit I've already ach achieved what I wish to achieve We've PU'd so many dudes. Really nicely. I'm going to see if I can step like Great Britain here. By blocking him. Uh, yeah, including, you know, the Russians, as you, you guys could see. We, we PU'd them as well. Or, uh... Kiev. And, unfortunately... I kind of feel like the limitations are lame. The way that cultures refuse to accept, or nations refuse to accept other cultures, um, they're very hesitant to do so. And for that reason, we're going to kind of cheese it out here at the end. Um, but I just want to say that, yeah. I'm going to do what it takes to actually achieve the initial goal, and it's less than what, desirable, quite frankly. But, um, the way that things are going to pan out. But I just have to do what it takes, because there's actually not enough time remaining in the game. Can we stack wipe this guy, please? morale back at the end there at least our army tradition is going up yeah so to give you guys an idea of what i'm talking about i'm going to integrate minsk into our nation once again and i'm also going to integrate ragusa i currently have one culture acceptance slot which can be utilized and i think perhaps here we can get some more we can get some more at least two more uh, I think there's more that can be obtained eventually. Yep, one more at rank at, at Diplotech 31. That's ages away though. But we're going to have at least three cultures that I can accept. And so we're going to be utilizing that, those three. Uh, but otherwise, I'm going to actually uh, release many subjects. Um, the reason that why I kind of think that's cheesing it is because theoretically... I could just have conquered all of Europe, which is not, well, Europe plus, which is not that hard, honestly, in the amount of time, you know, just a straightforward um, goal like that. Although we did beginners all, obviously. And then I could just release nations at the end of the campaign, one client state per culture group, that kind of thing. And I feel like we're kind of doing the equivalent of that by just releasing nations. But at this stage, uh, quite frankly, I'm just doing what it takes to achieve the goal, you know? And like I said, uh, to anybody who thinks it's lame or whatever, I apologize, but I feel like we have, I, I proved the concept as possible by PUing nations, and, uh, they're being quite dumb. Some of them are being quite dumb. The Russian thing was a problem. So there was a way that I could have handled it in a more clean manner that somebody suggested, and I, I considered doing that, but I thought this would work. 
that he would just manually, uh, our client state would manually accept the cultures. Uh, the way that we could have done it is fed Kiev, Muscovy and so on, whatever they required, and then um, basically worsened our relations with them and, until our ruler dies and the personal union breaks. And at that stage, they'll form empire government rank when they're free. And then we just go in and fight a war over their throne to restore the personal union. That would have uh, been the cleanest way to do things. And like I said, I just uh, thought, although I did think that was an option, I thought I'd prefer to do things the lazy way, if you will. Because I thought it, that it would work. But as it happens, it doesn't appear as though it's going to work. So my hopes here are that the Crimea and Savoy can get Empire government rank. Uh, Savoy is close, but perhaps the Crimea I have to integrate as well, I don't know. He is getting some prestige himself. I'm worried now that man will not accept Irish. It's 44 war score against the British. Dang, dude. Which means I think I'm going to use one of my culture acceptance slots on Irish. Because that means that I would just have to integrate him once again, which would be very awkward. Integrate man, but the same thing is going to happen as far as I can tell Belt to be capped on my admin points. I'll tick up for negative 10. That's fine. We'll have to tick up eventually anyway. Alright, let's look at the country stuff here. Look at development. Savoy so does have a thousand. Ragusa, we're going to integrate, I'm sorry to say. Uh, so I should be, if I'm not going to feed it to Ragusa. And of course, keep in mind, guys, the reason why is Transylvania. And even he, can't, he could get a cultural union over the southern Slavic. But it's the Transylvanian I'm worried about. So these should be... We should be coring them. Because there's no point giving them to Ragusa. It's just going to take longer to integrate. And uh, yeah, it's not going to be satisfying releasing clients in a manner so that everything is accepted. Uh, you know, we're already over, but the amount that we're over, I'll kind of force limit here, is it's definitely a manageable amount. It's not like our game's going to implode if it was to go into the future. But if we were to release, you know, be 20 over and we're getting negative diplo points... Uh, that's the point in which I would feel like we're kind of just cheesing the game, but uh, I don't really see many uh, alternative options here. After how things have panned out, regrettably. Let's re-siege this stuff back here, it's worth a little bit of war score I imagine. Now I'm thinking about the Crimean border. How do I want it to look? That'll do.
Ok. I should have given some occupations to the Crimea because I'm going to be overextended now. Hmm, apparently not. Uh, but yeah, same thing with Russia. It needs to be resolved, guys. So let's let's call this stuff up. I'm, I'm kind of sad to do this, man. Disappointing uh, finale to this sort of series. I wonder how many few clients we uh, could have at the end. Diplo reputation advisor would be good to be able to integrate dudes faster, but we can't upgrade that guy. Frick. I'll try to roll one that is of an upgradable culture. Nice, we're not overextended. That's cool. So in the British case, I do wish to take this much, which is 44 war score. Uh, it's going to take a while to get here, I imagine. Especially because we're losing in North America. Nice. Tunis doesn't have any allies. Let's fight this war while we can. And give Malta over to Savoy. Now I do need to make the occupation there. Let's do that before I forget. Let's see if I can sneak around here with my navy. And of course, waiting for subjects to be integrated is not fun at all. Hmm. I don't know what we're supposed to do about their uh, prestige. Either, maybe I should just integrate the Crimea. Uh, because we were running out of time, guys. We're running out of time. So we got the entire Spanish and French regions on lock due to personal unions. That was cool. Kind of proud of myself for that. I definitely think it's plausible that we can do the same with the Italian. But I don't know how Savoy is supposed to get that last little remaining amount. Uh, another thing that we can do is give holy land, holy cities, to certain nations to increase the prestige that they have. So maybe I should try to give Mecca to the Crimea, just kind of for the lols, to improve its prestige. Okay. I'm waiting for this occupation here so that we can give it over to Savoy. Uh, but the war score is doing pretty well here against England, actually. We, we almost have it. Cool. Hopefully the ticking war score doesn't take too much longer. There we go. Partial acceptance. Hopefully... Which will eventually become full acceptance. Those are both Scottish, which will be handed over to Man, who accepts Scottish. And yeah, judging by how things are going at this stage, see it's quite it's quite pathetic, honestly, in my opinion. But at this stage, if we give him Irish, I don't think he will accept it. So I'm gonna take it up myself, core it up myself. We're gonna um, have to state up some territory within Ireland and then accept Irish. Okay, he is allied to Ming. Seriously. I'm thinking about Mecca. Because I know that Savoy is getting some prestige off holding Rome. It's not much, though. Savoy got a big bump in prestige, and it's uh, very much decaying now, which is not good at all. Uh, I think it was, some of it was from battles. Uh, 
I don't know how we're expected to get that last little bit of prestige on them. Hmm. Okay, this is more expensive giving him the occupation. Considering I'll be at peace after this, apparently. I'll give it to myself. There we go. Cool. It actually wasn't too suffer. We're now at peace. Uh, so, man. Give him the Scottish stuff. Alter. Alright, I am overextended, but we're just going to deal with that. Feels bad, man, dude. All that, all that PU work feels very much bad, man. Very much bad, man. Let's try to find a Diplo Reputation Advisor that I can upgrade. In the meantime, I would like Diplo Points. Let's just throw some money around. That's alright. Okay, we don't have many Diplomats available any longer. And, uh, we might be able to get rid of some Turkish culture here. I'm waiting to convert this to Armenian, then we're going to hand it off to Circassia. In fact, now that I've started the conversion, there's no harm in getting rid handing some of these off. So again, this is not Armenian in fourteen Armenian in fourteen forty four. I can only re instate culture, guys. Wait, what? I could have sworn that I was that is Armenian. Okay, it freaked me out there. Phew, it's already finished. Okay, phew. Thought I messed it up again. Uh we're holding on to Pontic. Okay, so Premier. I'm still trying to do the Crimea, guys. I don't know. Maybe it's a dumb move. Maybe it's a dumb move. It's just gonna make him more to integrate. Uh, but, of course, he is in a genuine personal union. Anything that's not accepted culture... See, we managed to... I was smart by giving him the Uralic culture first while he was still small. That's how we managed to have him accept that. Anything else can be accepted if he becomes implied government rank. Anything outside of... That's not accepted is... Uh, around here is... um Is not part of Europe. So... We just need to get him Empire Government rank, and I'm not going to give up on him just yet. I feel like if we try really hard, if we just stay at war, maybe uh, try to avoid combat with the exception of attaching troops to his units, maybe we can go around and farm prestige for him. We're probably still overextended ourselves after handing all this stuff away. Of course, the other thing we need to do is make sure that he has the development to be 1000, which is also very much achievable. Looks like about three more provinces here. Okay. This one big Crimea. 
he's getting there. He's, he definitely is getting there. Cool. Okay. Slowly integrating these guys. Yeah. How much are we losing? We're definitely losing points. Uh huh. His reputation visor. Let's hire him on twenty seventh. Okay, maybe I should go to war against Ming. So we should integrate them faster now and lose even more points. We'll lose even more points when we are no longer overextended. But uh, yeah, what can I say? That uh, it's good. Uh, maybe. Let's look at Europe. Geographically, we have all of Europe, right? I'm almost sure that all of this is Asia. So there's that. One of the uh, goals and objectives. Asia, it's all Asia. Nailed it. Nailed it. So one of the goals and objectives is to own all of Asia, either uh, Europe, excuse me, not Asia, directly or indirectly. But then, of course, to have all the cultures accepted. So we have we have achieved that. Now, in the Crimea's case, if I was supposed to give him Mecca to or Savoy for that matter, we would have to give them like train some land out there so that they can core it up. Uh, now, here's my thoughts: We need to go to war to get prestige. We need to go to war. So let's let's decide who we wish to go to war against. How about this? Should we should we just fight a war? Let me think. Is there a, a mode to just turn them off? This defensive, supportive. From my experience, supportive in the early game pretty much turns them off unless you intentionally attach. Okay, so I'm thinking the Crimea. And Savoy. If, what if we turn everybody on supportive? And then we try to attach some of their U troops in particular. Uh, without generals, of course. So let's... Okay, military points. Uh, uh, I don't know what to do with our military points. Develop the Crimea so that he is nearer to accepting. How about that? Empire government rank, I mean, this is probably yet more things that we're developing that I have to eventually integrate, probably. Okay, so I'm trying to look for Crimean troops, because if we say attach, here we go, then everybody's going to want to come and attach. Uh, but these guys seem awfully aggressive for being on defensive stance. So the idea is that I want to attach his troops without using generals. Let's take our time to do this. Especially that one. To use his beautiful general. And then to just go around winning battles. That's that's really it. Just battle, battle, battle. Oh, of course. And I should be coring this up as well, right? Sure. Yeah, I'm just worried that you guys think it's a bit of a cop-out, guys. You know, if we just client state up, like, each individual culture that's... And then we just way over our subject force limit, that seems lame to me, but... Uh, I can't really think of any other solutions right now. This, this also seems lame to me, that he wouldn't accept... This development is probably, I don't know, between a fourth and a third of his entire dev in his country. Maybe that's exaggerating. About a near a quarter, I would say. You know, the Crimea did accept this culture, though, guys, when it was not that much. It really is not that much dev. It's almost like the geographical or the number of provinces comes into play. I mean, the Crimea was big when we gave him that and he accepted it. 
It almost is like the number of provinces affects it, you know? Because this is good development proportional to Minsk, but it's it's only like six provinces or something. And Transylvania is also only a few. I don't know. What I do know though is Savoy's prestige is diminishing over time. It's not good. I still can't see where he's stationing some troops. A significant stack. They're up here rocking around. I've lost track of the Crimea as well. This is going to be really tedious. Okay, there he is. So he's actually sitting there. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go try to go pick him up. There we go. So, I wish to just roll around and try to farm uh, prestige here. Battles. It's all about battles. We're just trying to chill, battle it up. Integrating these guys Minsk quickly. is not too bad. Um, Savoy, is he exiled? Nope. Okay, so let's try to use an even smaller stack because he's rolling around with a huge stack. But I wish to try to attach. Look how big that stack is. That's obnoxious, Savoy. It really is obnoxious. He's, you're suffering attrition in a gigantic farmlands province that can yield 73 troops because you've got 116 troops. Dude, that's, that's madness. Um, but at least we know we're not going to have much trouble winning battles with that stack, I suppose. Due to the overwhelming numbers. Freck. So Cassie is attaching as well, but we're still using the Crimean General because his stats are so good. So that's a concern. Other things are attaching. Savoy's General is good. Here. Can you attach, please, dude? This is frustrating. He's not attaching because he's suffering attrition. And he thinks if he attacks, it's only going to add more numbers, which is going to make the attrition worse. But the problem is that he's suffering attrition. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is not going to work. Um, uh, I need to switch them back to defensive or something. But they seem so uh, aggressive when they're on defensive. That's why I changed them. Yeah, so he's unattached. Now, attach the Crimea again. Okay, there we go. That is attached. So, uh, come on. Get out to the battlefront. I think this is our life now, guys. Here we go. Crimea. And Savoy. And of course, you don't get that much prestige from battles, honestly. The Crimea has been losing prestige. Uh, I have no idea how that is, but that's how it is. This is going to take absolutely forever because I don't have my own general equip. Let's just try to smash it down. And Spain's coming out here to obliterate everybody. And Greece is as well, I suppose. That's not very defensive of you, Spain. Okay, so I see baddies down here. Now I believe the number is seventy-five prestige to become 
Empire government rank. We're getting all these negative events because we're overextended. We won't be overextended for too much longer. Everybody's coming to participate anyway in this war. That's what's killing me. All my subjects. We can't, like, turn them off. Ah, I'm dumb. Speaking of that, we should turn some of them off. We can to literally make it so some of them don't participate in our war. The ones who are actually subjects, like the Crimea. We can literally turn off, now that I say that. Um, okay, let's go offensive with the stack. See what we can find around Yemen. The other concern, of course, is that due to the prestige being so low on the Crimea, that they uh, fail in battles if if the numbers are even, you know, somewhat comparable. That's a concern. I should put my missionaries to work because some of our nations are struggling. <sighs> Yeah, regrettably, I hate to say it, guys, because I don't want to bring the mood down, but I'm not really enjoying this very much, so. Well, that's cool, though. That cheers me up a bit. That is Greek, and we'll hand it off to Greece soon. It took a long-ass time. No. He doesn't want to be in the desert, maybe? For attrition purposes? I don't know what to do. Frick. We need to find battles down here, dude. Why do you have one ridiculously big stack, dude? What is wrong with you? Why does the Crimea lose prestige as well? Let's try give him subsidies. Yeah, we are rich. We're giving him so much money a month. I hope that does the trick. I mean, he's getting 11 per month. 11.5 or something. He shouldn't fall into debt, should he? The plan, of course, was to go for battle engagements, and I, I, don't, I don't see anybody at all to fight. Maybe I should declare this war. Ming is... Okay, maybe Ming won't back Shamar up soon. Fighting Shamar would be good, just because they're so kind of nearby. <sighs> Let's see if we can come back and... Uh... The Timurids are nearby. Okay, we integrated 16% of Raguz already. That That's pretty cool. It's not taking that long. Not like uh, my plans of engaging in battles are taking long. We have not engaged in a single battle with the two stacks, and uh, it's frustrating. I'm coming out here, though. He'll probably have... See, I don't think this gives prestige, even fighting enemy rebels, which you would think it would. Here we go. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Now, his his prestige should not be a problem. His composition's a bit whack, he doesn't have cannons. Oh my goodness, we have to bail him out of this mess, he's gonna lose. That's counterintuitive, oh my goodness. Wait. Wait, what? He unequipped his general. Uh, I'm leading the war anyway. 
What about here? Ah, oh, his general died or something. Frick, man. This is so... This sucks, is what it is. It sucks. Can you, uh... Equip a general, please, Savoy. Now he's got a general all of a sudden. What? So why was I leading the engagement, though? It says he doesn't have a general now. Let's kind of test this out. I'm, I don't have any generals. I'm leading it. He, he unequips a general when he attaches to me. Ah. <sighs> Okay, with that in mind. I don't know what to do. We need to attach to him. But, frick. This sucks. Okay, I, in this case, I just need to let his big stack roam about and just try, hope it fights stuff. Uh, so, go aggressive, and aggressive, and you know what, we sh we can at least basically turn things off by going supportive. Okay, so, we, we just have to hope that they fight engagements, right? Savoy has a big enough stack to ruffle stomp people. I feel like if we attach there, Crimea with his good general should fare pretty well man some of those stacks are huge though like genuinely huge um the what the enemies that we're fighting uh, i'll try to help crimea out by attaching more troops to his stack so there's savoy walking about That's what I need. And the Crimea to walk about and kill murder dudes, which he's not doing well at all. It's just walking back and forth. Really? This is our life now, guys. Feels bad, man. Um, it did occur to me that we can just demand stuff back from man because he's a regular client just for the looks because i don't like that before i state it up and accept the culture i will i will see i'll see if man will accept the stuff which he probably won't but if he does then i can um yeah be happy with that if he doesn't i can Demand it back, I guess. Okay, the Crimea's not being so derpy. Um, Savoy, so let's go see if we can back him up with a generalist stack. He seems to be going down for Yemen. And uh, Ragusa has tons of prestige all of a sudden. Flip, man. Ah, if only we could get him to do Transylvanian. Okay, Crimea got some prestige back, but negative 18 is not good. Yeah, so for me guys, I'm I'm pretty demoralized IRL because it's already basically the end of the game. What One thing that kind of inspired this playthrough is I didn't want to go on towards the end of the game. We're already basically there, and uh, this is basically the future of the campaign, right? Is trying to get the prestige which i think is doable i do think it's doable we can see here proof of concept that most of these guys they are basically turned off so basically for the next 40 plus years of the game where did savoy go he's there i would just chill at war and just slowly try to get prestige with these guys 
that's kind of the, the concept. Um, problem is, is it's not very entertaining at all. There we go. It is definitely working though. In Savoy's case. And of course, of course, once Savoy is basically acceptable, or once he has accepted his stuff, then uh, it would just be the Crimea, which would kind of make things a little bit easier because we'd put him on supportive and, and attached to the Crimea's troops. There we go, Minsk has been integrated. So we're going to have to rework out here in Russia. Now, part of the reason that I am trying to be more meticulous with Irish, give it off to the man if we can, is because I could accept Belarusian, Rosanian, Ruthanian, and then I would suggest we could have one client accept these three if we did it wisely. And that doesn't look too ugly, you know? Which would make me feel a little bit better in regards to a few issues like uh that we're not cheesing the game because i just have so many subjects <laughs> savoy's losing this engagement he arrives on the first let's just okay he won but it was solely him doing it it didn't seem to give him any prestige, it's not significant enough. Or it gave him a very small amount of prestige. They Crimea is participating in this battle here. Which he's not gonna win by the looks of things. Frick. His general's doing work. Nice, nice, nice. Yes. Okay, he was negative 18. He, he got two. <sighs> Yeah, so this is our life now, lads. But, um, no, it does seem to be working. Uh, so tell me your thoughts, guys, because I feel like we've spiritually done it. I feel like there's mul multiple routes to do it. It could, it would be easier to just integrate the Crimea, um, but I'm trying to avoid cheesing the game. Uh, but like I said, I, I think, I think we've basically done it. Uh, do you guys wish me to play this one out? My concerns are, like, sitting here, um, rambling, that kind of thing, just running my mouth, because there's, uh, not much going on, and we can see how that works out. Some people get, uh, upset with me, like, seriously upset, and talk about how they don't want to follow me anymore, because I'm trying to fill space, airtime, by running my mouth. I'm not trying to feel sorry for myself. I'm just, I'm just being real. Like, uh, as it happens, it, it's, it's not an easy thing to do. Yeah. So this, in a way, this series was definitely a bit of a failure. I'm sorry to report, but this, that's how I feel. The full acceptance European culture run. It just seems stupid to me sometimes the how they won't accept the odd culture and. I made mistakes. I shouldn't have messed around with the personal unions, I suppose. And I I didn't think it was unrealistic, you know, to have him accept... I mean, he did Romanian, as we can see. I shouldn't have pushed my luck. I should have just been content with him doing Romanian and then given him Empire rank by boosting the development in other areas. Uh, so far, the Savoy Judo just prestige tapering off he doesn't seem to have gotten any prestige this war he hasn't counteracted that and the Crimea has gotten uh, about three about three so uh good stuff lads and i feel like we haven't really done much this episode yeah i'd like to hand more stuff off to man try to see if he'll accept irish and then just demand it back if he doesn't We've got some subjects participating despite being unsupportive. That doesn't seem right. Here's Savoy fighting a battle down here. But uh, either way, guys, that's, that's going to be it for this session. Savoy just stack wiped a dude. No. It doesn't do anything. 
<sighs> Feels bad, man. Uh, yeah, I'd be interested to see your thoughts, guys, but I just don't feel like the entertainment value is very much very high here at all. Uh, and my con so let me just before I end the episode express my concern. My concern is that we're we're chilling. We're waiting for him to get prestige. We're doing what we can. It's not working well. Now there's a solution. What's the solution? It's integrate him. But then we need the cultures accepted. How do we accept the cultures? We just release a client state like here. Give him all of this so accepts it. Give him all of that. That's two cultures knocked out. We le release a client state like here. Give him all of this. He accepts it. Give him all of this. That's four. We and so on and so forth. That's the solution. Because the game's kind of stupid in some ways, like they don't accept massive culture groups, and uh, we're just my plan is flawed in the sense that they need prestige. It's some, the one thing that I didn't really take into account. Um, that's the solution, and I just feel like well, that's a dumb solution because if I had used that as a solution from the very beginning of the game, it's a stupid and boring uh, playthrough. So this is the dilemma I have, and I'm not going to lie, it kind of makes me want to uh, just call it here. That we've accepted a ton of Europe, and it uh, feels bad, man, because it's it was a bit of a failure overall. We didn't complete our task, but we know we can complete our task. It's just going to be uh, a, little bit, a little bit silly. That's my only concern. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll yeah, be interested to see your thoughts. I'll see you next time.